So this is lesson seven. How does the UK trade with other countries? So for the starter, if you don't have anyone around that not free, um, don't worry about it. Just think about number three, but write down an item and get someone else to write down an item and then share what you both wrote and then see if you would be willing to trade or if anyone else would trade with you. Um, and then number three, write down three ways you are connected to somewhere else in the world. So any country or continent or anything like that. Um, probably only take you about a minute or two. Uh, so you can pause here and then go to the next slide. So there's some information here. Um, pause now and just read through it. Okay, so make sure you take um, any notes. Um, so get the keywords down. So trade, buying and selling, imports. So when a country buys it and exports, if they sell it. So imports, if they bring it in, exports, if they send it out. Again, pause um, so you can read what's on the screen. So this is just talking about UK trade and how it's the ninth largest export um, for the economy. And a big part of that is a, a port in Southampton. So the activity, um, just we're looking at the UK top imports and exports. So looking at this diagram, it'd be quite hard to see. So it'd be best to look at the PowerPoint, which will be um, linked uh, in your assignment. Um, you're just looking at your imports, which are here, the ones in the pink, and your exports, which are the ones in blue. And you're just writing down what are the five top things that are imported and exported from the UK. And then also um, doing C as well. So this should take you about five minutes. You can pause now uh, to complete that. This is just a close up. Again, it's probably clearer when you're on the PowerPoint. This is just showing you the trade by types of goods. So you can see that um, things like clothing and textiles is 2.6%, medicine is 7.1%, um, chemicals 5%, food and drink 2.3%. So it just tells you what type of kind of things we're importing and exporting. And this is just a closer up of the imports and exports from the UK. So for this activity, you, there's a world uh, map on the assignment. It's in a Word document. So you can open up and to shade it in, you can just put um, a square or a shape and then have that as a color and put it on there. Um, if you can, you can print it out. Um, whichever way is easiest for you, so you can work on uh, the screen or on your paper. Um, you're going to be looking at your world map and you're going to name and shade the top 10 countries uh, the UK trades with for imports and then the same for exports. All that information is on the previous slides where you had those boats which had the pink and blue parts on them. You're also going to draw a line from or to the UK to each country and write the percentage value for each country on the line. So how much um, percentage is on those values in the previous slide. Uh, you pause here. This will probably be a longer activity. It will take you probably about 10 to 15 minutes. 
So this is what is a port. I'll give you a moment to read through that. You can pause now. So this is just telling you what a port is. So a port is always going to be on the water. It's mainly to do with ships. So ships coming in and going out. So importing any kind of product by boat. So looking at these, um, the main, one of the big ports is uh, Southampton, which is in the south of the UK. And you can see here is a map of all the ports in the UK. And Southampton is this one here. So again, it's probably clear if you look at just the um, kind of presentation, just the normal PowerPoint. You can also look it up online if you want a clearer picture. So here's a, a bit bigger. If you want to know which one it is, this big circle here, that is the Southampton one. I'll just get rid of that. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to look at, look and name the 10 largest ports in the UK. So basically whichever of these circles is the biggest and then write their name down. Um, and then write down what you do note about the distribution of the ports, so the spread of the ports. So this will probably take you about probably five, six minutes. Uh, so you can pause here and then we'll go to the next slide. So this is a bigger picture of Southampton. You can see you've got numbers one, two, three and four. And what I want you to do is write down kind of evidence of the advantages of Southampton as a port. So looking at this image, why do you think Southampton makes a good port? That will take you, I mean, a couple of minutes, but you can spend longer on it if you would like, but probably only about two or three minutes. So now you're looking at which sector of the economy are jobs at the port of Southampton. So you've got primary, secondary, tertiary and quaternary sectors. So just to remind you, so you've got primary. Uh, is to do with raw materials, so things like farmers, miners, uh, fishermen, things like that. They're, they're taking natural resources. Then you've got secondaries, so they're making things, so it's manufacturing, uh, factory, building houses, railroads, things like that. Tertiary is providing services, so jobs, teachers, doctors, things you know, jobs include teachers and doctors and shop assistants. And quaternary is sort of high level ex experience, mainly to do with new technology and things like that. So when looking at a port in Southampton, what kind of do you think is the right sector? Uh, it's take you probably about three minutes if you get a bit stuck, you can ask questions on this one. Uh, so that's the end. Uh, there is a ex bit of extension, which is kind of to do with what we were talking about in the starter about like, are you connected to other parts of the world? Um, it's quite a fun one to do, just kind of like um, thinking about yourself and do you have any connections to different places you know you can look at your clothing and you look at the clothes label generally when you look at um clothing labels it will say like made in and somewhere um you when you look at your food and electronics a lot of things uh, electronics wise might say made in china so you can color in your map and talk about where that is so that will also be on the assignment as well um Hope that was uh, a good lesson and if you have any issues you can just ask um, and
someone will be there to help you.